Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's nefarious court business stands as a testament to how quickly times can change. Johnny Depp lost many projects and studios after his ex-wife Amber Heard said he was abusive. Johnny Depp was kicked out of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise because he had a fight with Disney Studios while filming Pirates of the Caribbean 6. They didn't want him to get bad press during the Amber Heard scandal. Recent news, on the other hand, says that the famous Jack Sparrow that Depp played may come back. Johnny Depp is returning to the famous Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. Johnny Depp will be back as Captain Jack Sparrow, five years after the last Pirates of the Caribbean movie. A new call sheet from the production says that Depp will do a test shoot in the UK in February. In the first five movies, he played the drunken pirate. People who know about the new Disney movie said that the working title was A Day at the Sea. A source said, Johnny will be back as Captain Jack Sparrow, and filming will start at the beginning of February. February at a secret location in the UK. Johnny Depp is rumored to be going back to his Pirates of the Caribbean role. The project, which is called A Day at the Sea, is still in its early stages, and there is no director yet. Before the production really gets going, Johnny will do a test shoot in early February. Those who need to know have been given a call sheet. The new project's executive producer is Bruce Hendricks, who worked on the first three movies. All the other information is being kept secret. Everything about the project is a secret and Disney wants to keep it that way as much as possible. Depp's future with the films was previously in doubt. In 2003, The Curse of the Black Pearl was Depp's first movie as Sparrow. The first five movies made more than 3.4 billion pounds across the world, and Depp is said to have made more than 200 million pounds from them. His future on the franchise was in doubt after he lost his libel trial against The Sun in November 2020. In an article about him and his ex-wife Amber Heard, he was was called a wife beater, which led to the trial. After being married for a year, Depp broke up with Amber Heard, 36, in 2016. He then sued her for defamation in the U.S. and won in June. During that trial, Heard's lawyers asked Depp if he would ever return. They asked, if Disney offered you $300 million and a million alpacas, nothing on earth could get you to go back and work with Disney on a Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Depp said, that's right. Women's groups were worried to hear that Depp had been hired for the role again. Women's Aid said, It is important that all employers, including those in film and TV, take it seriously when someone is accused of or found guilty of domestic abuse. When domestic abuse is ignored and quickly forgotten, it sends a dangerous message that it is not that important. In the UK, three women are killed every two weeks by a current or former partner. This is the worst thing that could happen. Fans of the movies and Depp started a petition to get him back as the immoral marauder. Over 800,000 people signed it to put pressure on bosses to bring him back. Margot Robbie said last week that a new Pirates project with women in the lead role had been cancelled. People thought that the production was made to fill in the gap, left when Depp left the franchise. Robbie, who is 32 years old, told Variety, We had an idea, and we were working on it for a long time, to have more of a female-led story. Not entirely female-led, but just a different kind of story, which we thought would have been really cool. Producer Jerry Bruckheimer reveals Margot Robbie's Pirates movie might happen after all. Margot Robbie might get to live the life of a pirate after all. In November, the star of Suicide Squad told Vanity Fair that she thought her Pirates of the Caribbean movie was over. But now, producer Jerry Bruckheimer says, hold on a minute, when promoting Disney Plus's national treasure, Edge of History. Bruckheimer told E! News that they were making two Pirates movies. The one with Margot Robbie will be made, but not before the other one. We are making up two stories. The producer of Top Gun Maverick also told The Wrap that the first new Pirates of the Caribbean movie will be more of a group film. A few weeks ago, Robbie said she was upset that the studio didn't seem interested in her movie. Bruckheimer's update comes after that. We had an idea, and we were developing it for a while, ages ago, she told Vanity Fair on November 14th. To have more of a female-led, not totally female-led, but just a different kind of story, which we thought would have been really cool, but I guess they don't want to do it. Back in 2018, The Hollywood Reporter said that Disney and Bruckheimer were looking into ways to restart the successful and popular franchise. They also hired the writers of Deadpool to give the series a new start. The next year, those writers quit the project. In May 2020, Christina Hudson, who wrote Birds of Prey, and Robbie began working on Pirates. And while Bruckheimer's update is good news for Robbie's fate with the Pirates franchise, Johnny Depp and his iconic character Captain Jack Sparrow
Pedro may be sailing off into the sunset. We have to agree that no one could replace Depp as Jack. His removal has caused a lot of trouble because he is a key part of the franchise. Disney put Jack Sparrow at the center of Pirates of the Caribbean. Many fans might have told the studio that Jack Sparrow can't be played by anyone else. Disney isn't willing to give up on the Pirates of the Caribbean series. Despite Dead Men Tell No Tales being the least successful of the franchise, it still managed to net $795 million gross internationally from a budget of $230 million. Yes, it was the least successful, but an estimated $565 million profit is still a healthy return for a movie and more than enough further investment in reworking the franchise instead of abandoning it. Pirates of the Caribbean 6 is still in the works, and as a brand, it's recognizable enough that a strong enough new Pirates movie could ensure its survivability without Jack Sparrow. Speculation on Depp's rehiring will never truly die, at least not while promotional tie-ins like The Sea of Thieves slash Pirates of the Caribbean crossover still rely on Jack Sparrow to spark fan interest. The choice is not just up to Disney either. Depp has said many times that he doesn't want to play the role again after the studio dropped him. Even though it wasn't true that the actor was thinking about coming back now that the defamation trial is over, the proposed $301 million fee is more than twice the cost of making Curse of the Black Pearl. Even if this ridiculous amount wasn't enough to prove that the rumors were false, Johnny Depp's team went out of their way to say that he wouldn't come back even for $300 million and a million alpacas. It looks like Disney can either replace Depp or find a way for Pirates of the Caribbean to go on without Jack Sparrow. Lastly, everything we know about Pirates 6. Even though neither the actor who plays Jack Sparrow nor his character will be in the next Pirates of the Caribbean movie, Disney has moved forward with making the next movie in the series. Not much is known about Pirates of the Caribbean 6, but there have been some updates about how it is coming along. When the project was just getting started, Disney was also making a Pirates movie with Margot Robbie in the lead role. This caused a lot of confusion, but Robbie's movie was canceled for unknown reasons, and Pirates of the Caribbean 6 was made by The House of Mouse. Craig Mazin, Chernobyl, and Ted Elliott, Curse of the Black Pearl, are writing the script, and Yosham Roning, who directed the plot hole filled Dead Men Tell No Tales, will be back in charge of the movie. The most recent news about Pirates of the Caribbean 6 is that the script is in its early stages, and Johnny Depp won't be in it. The new Pirates movie hasn't had any news about who will be in it, when it will come out, or what it will be about. It will be interesting to see where the Pirates series goes without Depp, since his character Jack Sparrow was pretty much the series' main character. There's been a lot of talk about the cast, and many people think that Kira Knightley and Orlando Bloom will be back. Their return could be very important to the new movie, especially since Johnny Depp won't be there. Phil Nye, Lee Ehrenberg, and Kaya Scodelario are among the other Pirates of the Caribbean actors who have said they would like to come back. No matter what, the fact that Jack Sparrow won't be in the next Pirates of the Caribbean movie has to be handled well for the new movie to do well. Unfortunately, guys, that is all the time we had for today. Do you believe that the franchise could survive without Johnny Depp? Comment below. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Till next time, cheers!